But anyway, I wanted to wish you good luck. Don't do anything too crazy and get yourself hurt. But I hope you win. Oh, and we're out of ice cream, so grab some Rocky Road on your way home. By the way, no matter what ends up happening with this whole wrestling thing, I'm proud of you for making it this far. Love you, son. Don't forget the Rocky Road. Man, good to see you. Uh, slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. How about you worry about facing me tonight instead of trying to get Matt Bloom's autograph? Suck up.
together at BCW. If you want to check out any of their other matches, there's DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding, they go to me. It's expensive to run these indie shows. If these two keep it up, they're going straight to the principal's office. There's so much at stake in this match. Let's just say you never know who's watching at a BCW show. These guys are hitting each other with everything but the cafeteria sink. Tonight's attendance is, oh, never mind. Just enjoy the match, everyone. These two have a long history together in BCW. If you want to check out any of their other matches, there's DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding, they go to me. It's expensive to run these indie shows. This is what BCW is all about. No fancy stage, no flashy pyro, no one running their mouth for way too long. Well, except for me. Other than that, it's all action, all the time, and these guys are two of the best. Mr. CQ is showing why he has attracted interest from promotions all around the world, including WWE. Enjoy him while you can, ladies and gentlemen. Principal, we have a strict 11 p.m. curfew.
This is the most exciting thing to take place at this gym since last week's pep round. These two are going to bring the house down tonight, which is something they've literally done before when they once had a match in an old abandoned house. Someday we'll be able to afford play-by-play -play announcers. Until then, you're stuck with me, Baron Blade. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained him. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come! I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waste measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see it. Is this some I kind of it. joke? Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? 
I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough. Which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh yeah, easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair, combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was... In what type of match do you want to get these hands? Let's have a Falls Count Anywhere match. I've won a bunch of those on the indies, so I like my chances. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way, you can't run from me. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice.
Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Bootio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest you start running. Now. I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Oh, you thought I was serious? <laughs> I don't have time to watch nobodies like you, especially nobodies who are gonna get destroyed by Braun Strowman. Just make the most of your opportunity. What, like a Of course. Hey. And I can't believe how stupid you are in person. I look forward to watching Braun destroy you tonight. <laughs>